All right, so you've gotten your webinar recorded, done, ready to rock, and you're ready to start editing your funnel pages uh, to launch your workshop. So uh, what you're gonna do, let me share up my screen here with everybody. You're gonna log in at app.cheatcodeconnector.com. You'll log into your Cheat Code Connector account. And in there, you'll go down to sites. Now your account should be preloaded. If, if not, um, get, get, with our, get with our support staff, but you should be preloaded with a buyer workshop and a seller funnel. They, they can be called different names, but there should be a buyer and a seller funnel in here. Uh, the, there will be a website in here as well. We want to have our funnels configured before we go to uh, our website because there's sections of the website that we would point to our buyer funnel or our seller funnel. So let's either one um, should be the same. They should both have the landing page, your webinar page where they'll watch the webinar. They'll schedule a call with you after that, hopefully, hopefully get a little extra data for you on the survey and then a final thank you page um, there. And you can see on the seller funnel, this is exactly the same. So it's the landing page, the webinar, you're going to schedule, they're going to schedule a call, they're going to submit a survey and then uh, a thank you page as well. So either way, it is the same thing. So what you'll do, you'll go in here and you'll edit again, buyer or seller funnel. It's the same structure. You're going to edit your landing page with all of your info. Uh, so you click on edit and it brings you in here. This is all drag and drop. Now give you a quick crash course on this editor. Uh, if you if you see the green, that is a section, a section, and they're actually from left to right up here. So a section holds rows, which we can see um, the sorry the blue. If I can get a blue, there's a blue. A blue is a row, so see that's a four column row, that's a one column row, or that's the first column, there we go, there's blue. And then the columns are purple, um, so you can see this purple, that's a column, you know, for each element it's a column, it's a column, you know, to hold that, and then there's elements within those columns. So in this in this column, here this, this first purple column, there is an image, a headline, and another headline, you know, text. Uh, you can see down here, like, this is your section for all your services. This is a better area to do it. Row one. Here's a row with, you know, a couple columns. Here's a row with a couple columns. And you can see there's elements in those columns. So that's your basic structure. And this is all drag and drop. Like, you can, you know, move this section uh, down. You can move this section up. Obviously, you know, that one you want to keep there. You know, if you want this featured on, you can move it down. Click the down arrow. See, it goes down below. Um, we can move it right back up. You can hit manage sections here and you can see them. You can move them or take, make them visible or not. Sorry, you can copy and paste them. All kinds of good stuff. Um, our, our general guide should have a little bit more deeper dive on the editor, but just want to give you a quick crash course here. So now on the landing page, you're going to want to, you know, put something, you can, you can leave what we have here or you can kind of customize it. You're obviously going to want to enter how many happy clients, the awards, you can change these. Um, if the images don't work, you can come here and actually select this. Um, you can search under unsplash. So say you were doing, um, you know, you're putting like a little about you, like, I don't know, say you're putting, you're a dog lover. So you can put a dog and you can put a picture of a dog there. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of something off the top of my head. Whoops. Uh, so let's go back and edit again. Um, so you'll just fill in your information. Now the key point is this watch now button and this get started button. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. I'll, you also, you'll want to definitely, you know, add your templates and you'll want to come here and take any screenshots of solds, um, that you can I hope if you have pictures with your clients, that's definitely better. Um, so to do that, you just click on, you know, you click on the image, you can swap ours out by clicking the upload, uh, here and you can add yours in um, and change it. So, um, all right, so these these get started, all these get started and watch now. You can change the text if you want by um, sign up, um, view now, whatever you want. So you click on this element and you'll have the option to change that text. You can even put a subtext, you know, um, uh, simple process, right? Something like that, um, or, or or my signature steps, you know, whatever, whatever you'd like in there. You can put any subtext you'd like as well, uh, and you can see this is set to open the pop up, and all these buttons should be. Yep, open the pop up, open the pop up. So boom, this is going to open up the pop up. This has a 
all this has been preloaded in your account for you, but this has a form. This has a form that we called lead, lead gen. So for buyer and seller workshop, or sorry, you might have to select it. I don't know if this does preload it. So if this is your seller, you're going to want to select seller workshop form. Sorry about that. I, I did forget to so select seller workshop form. And that should be good to go. That's all going to be set uh, to this. So, and then what happens, you'll see. So this, like is this button, any of those call to action buttons, all open the pop-up, which when we click on the pop-up up here, we see the pop-up and we see what happens at the end of this button, which is go to next step. So you can go to the next step in the funnel by just clicking in the top right corner and going to the next step. I'm just going, to, I'm not going to save. You would definitely want to save changes. Uh, and if you hit preview, it will let you preview the site and also save the changes. But I'm not going to save the changes because I was just messing around. <laughs> so the next page, the, the webinar page, is where we'll load up the webinar. So this one, all you, I mean, you could customize. There's not too much to customize on this one. You could add your reviews and testimonials below if you'd like. But really all you need to do here is click on the, the video element and what type of video you have. You could do a YouTube video unlisted. You can make it public if you want everybody to see your webinar, but I would I would do it unlisted. Um, so it's not there. You could do Vimeo, Wistia. You can do a um, hosted video here through our, uh, our, our cheat code connector. You can just select video and then upload your video file there. It would appear right here. Uh, and then you would see your video um, here with some options. So get your video in there. Uh, then you'll see this button, this let's chat, which you can change the text and do any sub chat text. You know, let's chat now. <laughs> uh, you can see that button goes to the next step. So let's go to the next step. I'm not going to save the changes. Okay. So here is your strategy call. So this has been preloaded with a strategy call for a seller or a discovery call for a buyer. Um, I, I guess I, I don't know if you can see my pop-ups when I select that drop-down, but when I select this drop-down over here under calendar config, it's actually a uh, strategy, whoops, or discovery call. Strategy call for a seller, discovery call for a buyer. Uh, it's loaded in your calendar section of your connector app, your cheat code connector. Um, so here it's, it's already, this one should be pre-configured. All you really need to do on this page is add your logo here by clicking the picture button there and put your picture here um, by adding by clicking the picture button as well. So that's all you got to do on that page. Uh, the survey again has been preloaded. This is all pretty pretty much done for you. You just need to put your picture up there, your logo down there. This survey, you'll see here we have the Dream Home Finder survey um, and the seller intake survey. So you want to make sure for, strat for sellers, it's seller intake and for buyers, it's Dream Home Finder. So you want to make sure that is set up correctly. All right, let's run to the next one. And then finally, the thank you page. You could just change this out from the video and put your picture if you want, uh, but we have it set by default to video. Uh, so you could just put a YouTube video, put upload a video by hosted video, and just do, you know, hey, thanks for, thanks for booking a call with me. I'm looking forward to going over the strategy for you as a seller, or I'm looking forward to going over, or I'm looking forward to the discovery call to find out how, how to help you hit your goals, you know, as a buyer, or how to help you find your dream home as a buyer. Uh, you know, on the thank you page. So that's really it. You just definitely want to, you know, customize the call, everything here that, that, you know, seems like it should be customized to you. Um, but it's mostly done for you and set to go. So where a couple of those things are, if you want to see in your cheat code connector account, because we talked about calendars and forms, your calendar events are in here. You'll see there are two calendars when there's a strategy call and discovery call. So you'll definitely want to go in and edit those and make sure they're linked to your Google. Uh, you'll wanna do that in the integrations and everything, uh, which we'll have a quick guide on that coming up. And then also under the sites, you'll see forms, and this is where your buyer and seller workshop forms are as well. Um, so those, those are already preloaded into your account and you're ready to go. So that is really, um, that's all you need to do to get your, you just got to pretty much drag and drop your pictures, text, your, your accolades, your, your verbiage, you know, you could shuffle anything around if you want, but those, those buyer workshop and seller workshop funnels are set and ready to go. They're preloaded in your account so that you can just kind of change a few things and get that up and rocking. So, uh, we'll see you on the next video.